Hello and welcome. I am Vicky. You are watching Vicky Engineer. This video is all about how to connect multiple batteries to an inverter to a single inverter. Understand? This video we will learn if you are having two or three batteries, how to connect it to a single inverter. Understand? First, this is the topic of this video. Second, we will learn it in two parts. First, what is the need of that? And second, how it works. Understand? First, what is the need of to connect multiple batteries to a single inverter? And second, how it works. If we are we will go for what is the need of that? Basically, there are two cases. First, to attain or maintain the voltage level of that inverter. What is that? Suppose you are having a tw sorry 24 volt inverter with you, and you are having batteries of 12 volts understand the inverter is 24 volt and the battery is 12 volt that is that don't work in the situation right what we do in that case then we make a grid of two 12 volt batteries in series not in parallel we make it in series what is the reason of that making it in series the reason behind that is in series connection VL line voltage equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3 up to Vn. If you are into engineering, you must know that the in series the circuit uh, sorry the voltage of line equals to V1 plus V2 till Vn. If you are not an engineering or technical students, then also there is no issue. Bring print it in your brain so that you won't get confused on any cases. Second, what is the parallel connection? In parallel connection, what happens? If you are having two batteries and connected in a parallel, then the voltage level will again be the 12 volt only, not 24 volt. Understand what is the difference? In parallel circuit, VL equal to V phase and series circuit VL equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Basically, the whole theme of the connection, theme of this topic falls on these two lines in series VL equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 to till N and in parallel VL equal to V phase. Then we will go through what is the series connection and how to connect it. Basically as I explained before, series in series connection VL equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 and why we do it in what case we need the, this type of series connection to maintain the voltage level or to attain the voltage level of inverter. Right. What you what will do in that case is if we are having a 24 volt battery, uh, sorry, 24 volt inverter and 12 volt batteries both, then the positive terminal of first battery will go to the source, and the negative terminal of first battery will connect it to the succeeding second battery, positive terminal of second battery. Understand? Positive terminal of first battery will go to the source, and negative terminal of first battery will be connected to the positive terminal of the succeeding battery or second battery. And the next negative negative node of that second battery will go to the source. Understand? What happened in that case? For source, you need a positive terminal and negative terminal, right? There is no third terminal in a source. So, what we'll do then? We will connect positive terminal of first battery and negative terminal of second battery to the source. Understand? And what left then? The negative terminal of first battery and positive terminal of second battery. We will make it a loop. Basically, this is called series connection. What is parallel connection then? Why you need a parallel system? As I explained before, to attain the or uh, upgrade the capacity of that system, we need parallel. Suppose we are having a 24 volt inverter with us and a 24 volt uh, battery also. Then we are we don't have any concern in that. But in case we need more capacity of battery, since our requirements are upgraded to upgraded and to maintain that we need a more capacity then what we will do in that case we will again bring a 12 volt additional battery with, uh, for that and we will connect it to parallel understand and I told you before in parallel connection VL equal to V phase that is line volt equal to phase voltage in DC what happens suppose uh, let's let's uh, go through an example Suppose you are uh, connecting two to three batteries, right? One is of 12 volt, one is of uh, 12, second is also of 12 volt, and third third is also 15 volt. What? First, sec first is 12, second is uh, 
12 and third is 15 understand then what will be if all are connected in parallel then what in the voltage is 12 volt no it's not 12 volt it will be the 15 volt since the third one uh, bears the high voltage it will be of 12 volt if that if in the in your case you all are for uh, 24 volt then the total system voltage will be of 24 volt if all are connected in parallel understand what happens in parallel connection the same case here also the source need to only two uh, points one is positive and other is negative what we will connect them right so from the two batteries we have to connect them and for the source we have to uh, bring out uh, two well, one positive and one negative nodes from that what we will do in uh, parallel connection we will connect the positive node of first battery to the positive node of the second battery only understand in series what we have did we connect to the negative node of the first to positive node of second to make it a loop but here we will do connect the positive node of first battery to the positive node of second battery only and the negative node of the first battery to negative node of second battery only so that the voltage level don't come up with the summation of that it maintains the same voltage level what we need for our inverter 24 volt only in this video we have learned till now is why it's needed of multiple battery to a uh, inverter Second, how to connect in how and how it works. I think you must have some clarity on this topic. If you are having any query or suggestion on regarding this topic, let me know in the comment section so that I will be glad to help you on that. Soon, we will be meeting with a new video. Till then, signing off. Wiki yo. Bye bye. See you next.